having Down syndrome was much like having arthritis in your mouth. The muscles just don't come together like you need them to. And, um, you know, you can't get your mouth to form what you want it to form. Without the animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want that to One thousand. <laughs> She's my little love bug. And I'm so happy she is. I would sit at the computer and I would cry because what went through my head was, oh my gosh, these kids are beautiful. How can you not love this little girl with Down syndrome. Anybody who's going through a hard time in their life should just keep focused on one day at a time, and sometimes one second at a time. Um, and that comes from me going back to having lost a child. Um, and then, of course, my focus changed completely when Sarah was born and got more involved with Down syndrome. But sometimes we, we do do the focusing of, you know, the one day at a time, take it one day at a time. Sarah, Sarah much of the time, wants to focus on other things, and I'm always like, just let me get through this day. Just let me get through this day and let's focus on what's important today. How many, how many medals and trophies do you have in your room? How many do you have? Hmm. 200. 200? <laughs> My dreams for Sarah um, have always been basically the same kind of dreams that I've had for my other children. And that is for her to experience many things in her life, to be happy, and um, to have a job that she loves, um, to find a partner to spend her life with. Yes, we know who that is. and. Um, you know, like, like I said, it's the same dreams that any parent has for any child. And so I've tried to keep those dreams basically the same. She, she, you know, those dreams of going to college, having that dream job, finding a partner to spend your life with. Um, her dreams are the same as our dreams.